In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect a GoDaddy domain to Shopify. Now, this is a very quick and simple thing to do, so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss any important steps. Now, in order to connect our GoDaddy domain to Shopify, we will have to have a Shopify account as well as a GoDaddy account. And on that GoDaddy account, you must have purchased a domain ready to be used. Once you've completed those steps, we're ready to start. So to start with, you can head over to Shopify's dashboard and we just want to go into the settings, which we can find in the bottom left corner. Now, when we click on settings, we'll be brought to store details. But since we're trying to add a domain, we're going to go down to domains and then we're going to choose connect existing domain up here. And from here, we just want to enter in the domain that we actually own. So from here, we will have to get our domain name as well as go into our DNS records. So what you can do is head over to GoDaddy and go to your domain portfolio, which should show you all the domains that you have. So what you want to do from here is just click on the one that you want to add to your Shopify store. And from there, we're going to choose this DNS tab up here. Now, we will have to add some records to this DNS record list. However, first, we will have to actually just copy our domain and go back over to Shopify. So now that we're back on Shopify on this page, we can put our domain that we own in this section here, and then we can go ahead and click next. From there, it will give us instructions on how we can connect our domain, as well as a button that will allow us to verify the connection to make sure it is set up correctly. So we can get to this button in a second, but for now, we will have to add those DNS records to GoDaddy. So we can head back over to GoDaddy, and we want to make sure we are on this DNS tab. And from there, we want to make sure we are on DNS records. And we can go down and simply click add new record. Now from here, you want to look at where it says type and you want to make sure you don't have any CNAME records ready. If you do, we are going to need to delete those first. So we can go over to this bin icon and simply just delete them. After you've done that, we can go back up to where we're adding the record and choose the type as CNAME. For the name, we just want to put www. And for the value, we just want to put shops.myshopify.com. Now, if you need this information, I will leave it in the description so you can access it easily. And from there, we just want to leave TTL on default and we can go ahead and click save. And as you can see in a second, this will now be added to our list and we can find it down here. Now we've added one, we will need to add one more. So we're going to go to add new record again. And this time we're going to choose the type as a type. And from there, we want to put an at symbol. And then we're just going to enter in this IP and the value. And I'll leave this one in the description as well so you can find it. And for TTL, we can leave this on default and go ahead and click save. So now that we've added those two DNS records, we can find them in this list down here. And if we did add them correctly, that will mean that it will now work on our Shopify store. Now, it may take a few minutes to load. So if it doesn't work straight away, I would just recommend waiting a bit and trying again. And from there, we'll be able to go back to Shopify and then click this verify connection button. And we just have to wait a little bit. And as long as you have set it up correctly, it will now be added into our store and it will now also be our primary domain, meaning that anyone can visit this link and be taken to our shop. Now, if that's not your primary domain for some reason, you do want to click on your domain in this list here. And from there, you want to click change domain type and set the one you just added as your primary domain. From there, you can click change domain type and it will now be set as your primary domain. However, mine's already set as my primary, so I do not need to do this. And after you've done that, you will have successfully connected your GoDaddy domain to Shopify. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please comment down below to say it helped you out. And like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.